Joining me now exclusively is Alexander Daniluk. He served in Ukraine's government at the highest levels as the finance minister of the country and the head of National Security and Defense Council. He was also a campaign advisor for President Zelensky, and he joins us from Ukraine. Sir, very good to have you with us. Thank you for being here. I guess the first thing that I would want to ask you today, we've seen President Zelensky's appeal for a no-fly zone, and word has come down after the NATO meetings in Brussels that that will not be offered by NATO forces. What's your response to that, sir? Well, that's very disappointing because Russia is trying to get the air superiority, and they actually have, uh, in, you know, enough resources to actually to achieve. Um, and that will be pretty uh, serious uh, disadvantage to, to our army, which is, um, in any way is outnumbered by, by Russians. So no-fly zone is absolutely necessary for us. Um, given that uh, NATO is not going to provide it, you know, I, I, I understand the logic. Uh, logic is quite simple. Basically, by instating the no-fly zone, NATO believes that it's uh, it's already taken sight of Ukraine and pretty much joined the war with Russia. But I had a totally different view. We can look from a different angle. You know, by closing the the, 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 sky, the no, uh, for the flights uh, for Russians, uh, you, NATO don't attack. It just says that don't bomb Ukraine. And then if Russia bombs Ukraine, that actually it attacks NATO. Russia attacks NATO. Russia attacks Ukraine. So I think, if you look from this angle, I think the no-fly zone is, is the right move that not a fly. But there is always an alternative. The alternative would be to supply the modern aircraft, to provide pilots, to provide modern drones and operators of the drones, uh, attack helicopters. Those things we need to actually to achieve super, uh, air superiority. Uh, to, to, to get this advantage over Russia, and then the tide in this war will change. So what are you hearing on that? Um, there seems to be, you know, that, that question does not get a straight answer uh, at, at the Pentagon in terms of what we're willing to do to supply aircraft or supply um, helicopters to allow Ukrainian pilots to do that job, to refuel, to basically backfill the planes that have been lost uh, in Ukraine. Do you, is it your understanding that there's a channel for that to happen from the West? Yes, I do. That's my understanding. Mm. We, uh, will be, but always, we'll pay a very price. All right, um, sir. I'm, I'm, I regret to say that we're having a little bit of trouble. The signal is breaking up, and uh, understandably, um, you know, you're in a war zone, and it's difficult to communicate sometimes. But we we very much appreciate you checking in with us from time to time, and I hope we'll get a chance to talk to you again soon, sir. We wish you well. Stay safe, and um, we are all praying for your country. Thank you for being here. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.